Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy. I'm gonna show you how to remove and reinstall a cowl in this 2014 Nissan Versa. If you need parts for your vehicle, check out 1aauto.com. We removed the hood for the purpose of the video, but you don't have to remove the hood for this procedure. I'm gonna take a 90 degree pick tool and we're gonna remove this arm we need to get underneath this cover here. There's a little slot. You just pull up on that. It's right there. And it's the same as on the driver's side. Now I'll take a 14 millimeter socket and a ratchet. We'll take this nut off. Then we're gonna grab the wiper arm. I'm gonna pull up, and push down, just go back and forth with it. That's gonna break it free. Pull it off. I'm gonna use a trim tool. I'm gonna remove these push clips. Just slide in underneath, pull them off. There's one here, there's one here. There's a total of five of these clips. And then the last one right here. I'm gonna lift up, slide this out. This little insulation needs to be removed. Peel it off, just like that. Same on the other side. Okay. You can pull this, pull this off over here. There's all these clips that hold this trim on the cowl right here. Pull those off. We can pull it out of the way. We can disconnect the hose right here for the washer fluid. And just twist it. Just like that. We can remove the cowl. So now we're going to install the cowl. We're going to maneuver it in a little bit. It's going to be a little bit tricky to get it in position. There's a lip underneath here that goes right up to the windshield. So you're going to want to do that. Get that down. Push it up. It looks like it's lined up good. And then these can go underneath. There's these little clips that go underneath the fender right here. You can push them down by hand. You could also use a small screwdriver to get them to line up. that. I'm going to hook up the washer fluid hose. Just line this up here. Press that back in. Just like that. We're going to install these little push clips. Line those up with the hole. Right 
Yeah, there's one. Push it down. One right here. down, push that one down, I'm gonna pull this foam out, and if it doesn't stick too well, you can use a little bit of double-sided tape on that, pull that one out as well. We're gonna turn the key on again in accessory mode, because we want to just make sure before we put our wiper arms on that the transmission's in the correct spot. So we'll turn it to intermittent mode, and as you can see, it did a cycle. Once it stops the cycle, then we'll shut it off and turn the key off real quick. Now we know that the wiper transmission is in the park position, and we can put our wiper arms on. All right, so we're going to install the wiper arm. Um, the position of the, where the arm goes, you can actually see where the dirt was from where the blade was. So we can put it back in that same position. You could also mark these locations with like a, um, like a crayon, and that way you'd get it installed in the same position. Right. Then I'll install the nut. And once that nut's on, we're gonna take a 14 millimeter socket and a ratchet, and we'll hold the arm while we snug this up. That's good. Once that's on and torqued, then we can put the cap on. All right, so I can torque this nut to 17 foot-pounds. We actually sell these torque wrenches at oneauto.com. We'll reinstall this wiper arm. We can see our window was a little dirty, so we can see the location of where the wiper blade was. You could also mark it with a crayon or a whiteboard marker. It's just to keep in reference for where the wiper was. Now we'll put the nut on. Now we'll snug this nut up with a 14 millimeter socket and a ratchet. We can torque it with this torque wrench to 17 foot pounds. And we'll reinstall the cover, just line it up, press it on. Thanks for watching. Visit us at oneauto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.